Manon Top de Lille dreams of tennis glory. But the cost of becoming the next Wimbledon superstar could have thwarted the 14-year-old Cameroonian's ambitions. My idol is Serena Williams. I've always wanted to be like her. My parents didn't have enough money to enrol me in a tennis academy. That's no longer a problem, after she caught the eye of former national champion Joseph Oyebog. Today, Delil is among 30 children who wake at 5 a.m. for workouts, practice sessions and lessons at the Oyebog Tennis Academy in Sousa. It's run with the support of donors, mostly from the United States, and offers tennis training at little or no cost. Being a recipient of such a gift, the love of tennis, I wanted to share the love with other kids, you know, play the game of tennis. In his playing career, Oyobog won national tournaments and competed at the Davis Cup international competition. But he also had a humble start, playing on an improvised court in his mother's backyard. Through sponsorship, he was then able to train in France and the United States. His academies aim to offer the same opportunities in communities that often lack access to facilities. So Ota was born in uh, 1999 and the concept was to expose underprivileged children. Dalil is one of around 12,000 young people to have studied at one of Oyobog's 25 centres. Since graduating, some have won scholarships to train abroad and more than 20 trainees have International Tennis Federation rankings. For the teen tennis player, the work has been paying off. Dalil won a national tournament for 13 to 15 year olds, but has her eyes on a much bigger prize. In three, four, five years, I see myself winning a Grand Slam.